Thursday is all about remembering. Thursday's focus is the bread and the wine and remembering. Tonight's celebration of the Lord's Supper, of communion, the sacrament, Eucharist, whatever you want to call it, tonight's celebration is special. Because tonight, as we gather in Cameron Kirk, as Christians will gather in other kirks and churches, in the open air, in halls, in rooms, all across the world, tonight we do so on the night in which Jesus was betrayed. On the night that Jesus sat with his friends around a table and took the bread and broke it and lifted the cup and shared it and asked his disciples, asked his friends to remember. Jesus could see what was coming and he wanted to give them something that would help them to see into the meaning of what was going to happen. A body broken, blood poured for them. Something that would call to mind all that they had seen through the previous years, all they'd heard and shared. Which we have to remember is far more than we know about from the Gospels, far more than we know about from the New Testament. So much that they shared through those years, through those days, so much they saw that we know nothing about. And Jesus was asking them to remember not just what was going to happen over the next few days, but all of that, what it was all about. A body broken, a life shared. We're gathering tonight in Cameron Kirk at 8 p.m. to share our Monday Thursday communion. You're very welcome to come along. But whatever you have planned for this Thursday, for this Monday Thursday, take care, be good to yourself and be kind to yourself and to the people around you. And God bless and keep you.